All right, hello everyone, this is Lai Yosh. Welcome back to Life Study Library. Today we're gonna to be talking about what time of the day can you focus the best? So a lot of people know that there is this thing called the early birds, you know, or the morning types, and the night owls, or the evening types. The early birds, they can wake up early, sharp and ready to go. They can focus the best during the morning. And the night owls, or the evening types, they are, they can stay up really late, they, they focus the best in the evening, and maybe they have trouble waking up. I'm personally a night owl because both of my parents are night owls, so I got double the genes. But anyways, what I'm trying to explain here is that there is actually more than two types of people when it comes to when they can focus the best. There's actually six different categories called the chronotypes that you can fall into regarding what specific time of the day can you focus the best. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Likewise, in this channel I talk about these interesting scientific and psychological information by implementing data from scientific studies. So if you're interested in hearing about this and want to watch more of my content, then please subscribe to my channel. That makes me really happy. And I think that's it. Let's continue on with the video. So today's study is done at places like the University of Russia, where it took a total number of 2,283 participants. And throughout the study, they found that there's actually six different time ranges within a day that people can apply to, in which they can show the best quality of concentration, focus, alertedness. Uh, essentially, if you can bring the most important work that you have to do within a day to this time frame that's appropriate to your type, you're going to be able to bring the best result because the peak of your focus comes to this specific time frame. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So yeah, I'm just going to come out and just discuss all the six different types. So these types are morning type. Evening type, daytime sleepy type, daytime type, highly active type, and moderately active type. So those were the different types that the study has found by using the 2,283 total samples. So the researchers conducted the test by making the samples answer a number of uh, multiple different types of questionnaires. And they wanted to know if there was any pattern among which exact time of the day do the samples feel the most focused and the least focused. And they were very detail-oriented about it, so it wasn't like when do they feel the most focused during the AMs and the PMs. It was more time-specific, so like early morning, late morning, noon, early afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, that kind of stuff. And the researchers tested this through multiple different questionnaires and trying to see if there was any specific time of focus boost for both on the individual level and on the common level. And that's what led to the discovery of the six different types of time of elevated focusness for the individuals themselves and for the, the, the total sample as a whole. So now I'm going to talk about the specific types in detail. So we first start out with the morning types. This is actually the most common one among the six. And this is pretty self-explanatory, you know, you wake up in the morning and your level of, and you know, your intensity and the level of concentration and focusness is at its peak. And as the day goes by, the intensity slowly declines. The society functions in a way that benefits these sort of people the most. And it's pretty understandable, you know, most of us are morning types. Our battery is fully charged in the morning and we use that up until we go to sleep and recharge. And next up, if we have the morning type, we have the evening type as well. This is also very self-explanatory. These people start out groggy and sleepy in the morning, and as the day goes by, their level and their intensity of the focusness and the concentration slowly inclines, and by nighttime, they show the greatest amount of productivity. Personally, I think I'm one of these people because I have a lot of trouble waking up in the morning, and, you know, of course, I physically wake up and get out of the bed, but my body doesn't wake up until, like, noon or something, and it takes its sweet time activating throughout the whole afternoon until, like, 6 p.m., where it actually activates and I'm finally focused and, you know, ready to do work. And by nighttime, I become really productive and focused and ready to do work. So I just stay up until like midnight doing stuff like reading or, uh, you know, recording a podcast or doing some other important stuff. So that was the second one, the evening type. And then for the third one, we have the daytime sleepy type. What is this? So this is basically you show the most amount of productivity and focusness in the morning and the evening, but you become really tired and sleepy in the daytime, so at noon. These are the kind of people who take regular daytime naps, but are pretty focused in the morning and in the evening. And next up, we have the daytime types. This is pretty much the exact opposite of the daytime sleepy type, where you show the most amount of focus and productivity in the daytime, but that intensity is low during the morning and in the evening. So you basically feel really concentrated in the lunchtime, but before and after that you just lose it. So that was the daytime type. And then we have the highly active type, which in my opinion it's a very convenient type. If you happen to be one, then I'm slightly jealous of you. This type is kind of special because, like the name says it, you're basically highly active the whole time. 
your level of concentration doesn't significantly decrease at any point in your day, so you just basically keep everything at a very high intensity all the way through. However, the intensity won't be completely consistent, so there are going to be times in your day that you won't feel as focused as any other time, but it's usually not that significant, at least compared with the other types. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything negative about this type, so if you happen to have this type, uh, I can only say use it wisely and for a good cause. So that was the lucky group, and if there are a lucky group, there must be a unlucky group, unfortunately, and this, and this group is called the moderately active type. And as you might have guessed it already, this type is the polar opposite of the highly active type, in which their level of intensity of their concentration and focus is consistently low throughout the day. And, you know, if you happen to be in this group, I have to say that you do have more than a little bit of a disadvantage against the other groups. Your level of concentration doesn't significantly peak at any point in the day, but that doesn't mean it's a straight line. Like I said before, there are always going to be time in the day where a person's level of concentration, their intensity, is comparatively higher or lower than any other time. So if you can accurately pinpoint the time and use it wisely to do your you know, chores, responsibilities, work, hobbies, anything you want to focus on, then you're good to go. So yeah, that concludes everything. Uh, these were the six different types of time within a day that you'll feel the most amount of concentration. 95% of the samples were assigned to one of the six, meaning that this might apply to you as well. And the study on the chronotypes, while they use a sample of more than 1,000 people, it's not very versatile when it comes to the other aspects of the study, so it may not be the deciding factor when it comes to the validity of the study. However, simply knowing the existence of the six different chronotypes might be a benefit all on its own. By extending from the simple choices between an early bird and a night owl, it becomes more specific. If it becomes more specific, you'll have more choices to pick from when deciding what time in the, during the morning do you feel the most concentrated, and what time in the afternoon do you feel the least concentrated. Does it have one peak or two peaks? Does the intensity of the concentration decrease as the day pass, or does it increase? And once you find out what time of the day do you feel the most concentrated, by categorizing yourself in one of the six different chronotypes, you can do the most important task during the time where you can concentrate the best, and then spend the rest of the day just doing something that requires less concentration or just simply relaxing. So yeah, try to find your appropriate chronotype. It might help you a lot when it comes to task management. So yeah, that was pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video, but uh, if you do remember, I did mention that the most common chronotype is the morning type. You know, the one that you have your most intense amount of concentration at the morning, and then that slowly declines as the day goes by. This means that how you spend your morning and how you start your day off is going to be really important. It's like when people say that the beginning of a movie is the most important part about it, because people are going to look at it and it'll tell what the movie is going to be about, how the tone is going to be placed, whether it's worth watching or not. The same applies with how you spend your mornings. It's really important for you to start your day off strong, sharp, and focused so that you can have a long flow of productivity and efficiency. If you fail to do this, let's say for example, your wife says something mean to you right when you're off to work. Or on the way to your school bus, you trip and fall right in front of the bus, and everyone watches you and laughs at you. Or let's say you come to work on time, and the first thing you encounter is your delusional boss coming at you, wasting both his and your time to talk about boring stuff. And then because of that, you come late to the meeting. These are already point droppers, and it's not even lunchtime yet. What does this make you feel? It makes you feel angry, embarrassed, annoyed. Yes, these create negative stress. So that's what the next video is going to be about. Stuff that you want to avoid, specifically in the morning. And if you want to hear more of these interesting scientific and psychological information, you can do so by subscribing to my channel, so that you can be up to date with my past and my future content. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, your generosity is much appreciated. That'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.